Piano. Sounds like this movie needs an oil change. Thank you, United States Army Air Corps, for allocating badly needed military resources for our eight-minute Chevrolet commercial slash safety film. Thank Through you. day skies and night skies, great man-made birds go winging over our heads. Cool, where? Over lakes and rivers and mountains. Meth labs. Faster than the wind. They hum along with little effort. Oh, like Kathy Griffin. But every plane has a guiding hand. And behind the throttles of the giant engines, there sits a pilot who makes them purr or roar at his command. Life is a charade. The way these mechanical birds sail along through the sky looks surprisingly simple, but is it so easy? Let's distract a pilot and find sure, out. there's nothing to it. Take the wheel, for example. Oh, I probably shouldn't. You can make the ship do most anything by moving it like this. You can turn it over, do loops, dives, and fly upside down. Chicks really dig it. See, this is all you have to do. There's nothing to it. Of course, you have to watch where you're going all the time and keep your eyes on these instruments. Oh, these ones? They're all telling you something every minute. Right now, they're indicating I'm drunk. The stabilizer here practically flies the plane for you. You set it and forget about how it. How convenient. Except when taking off or landing. And how often or are you going to do that? Or up or down. Or when the weight shifts from a passenger moving around. Or when the gas tanks get lighter. Okay, so like all the time, okay? Oh, is that all? Hmm. <laughs> it's easy, is it? Well, are you being sarcastic? Not many of us would want to take off with no more instruction than that. There's one thing this expert forgot. His pants. That is, he knows how, and in what he knows, is his safety. And his unsafety is what he doesn't when not know. When a fellow learns to fly with the Army Air Corps, he doesn't learn it all in a day, a week, or even a month. It takes two days. The actually. gateway to the air service is a big schooling ground at San Antonio, Texas. The primary training point for Army pilots. This nipple sounds fantastic. Physical tests come first. Before he can even be considered, every applicant proves himself sound in every way. This pilot's being tested for gullibility. If the student reacts properly with 20 seconds of this, the next 20 seconds he's are ready free. For the next step. Watch his eyes. They be totally bugging. Now get out there and fight, soldier. Ability to judge distance and timing is determined from the results of a depth perception test. Given in a completely dark room. The student adjusts the controls to bring the two uprights an equal distance from his eyes. He gets a thorough test on the coordinator to find out how quickly he will react hey. later in the air. Light bright. Every army pilot must be an expert radio operator to be able to understand signals in the air. Be sure to drink your oval team. Use your headphones, Steve. Come on. The greatest factor in safety is knowledge of what you're depending on. Well said. Before the aerial novice ever leaves the ground, he knows all the whys and hows of his engine. A trained ear helps a lot in knowing the condition of the engine in the air. And that makes for safety, too. The legend of Curly's gold. In the classroom, the student learns why an airplane can fly. The lines on this chart represent the flow of wind. Mm -hmm. The number of lines represent the amount of air. In a bag of Doritos. Less air on the upper surfaces than on the lower causes the plane to be lifted upward. A small scale model yeah. helps teach the theory of flight. The link trainer explains how the controls are operated. This thing makes it go uppy. And what effect their movements have upon a plane in the air. In the link trainer, preliminary instruction in instrument flying is given. Plane courtesy Snoopy. The student Snoopy. practices straight and level flying, normal turns, climbing and gliding turns, stalls and spins, and flying a course on the radio beam. Uh, guys, it smells like Play-Doh in here. Is that normal? Then comes the work on an actual plane. The Army pilot must know how to take the best possible care of his airplane. The greatest care means the greatest safety later in the air. Here the plane's rump section is inspected. One of the most important parts of the student's training is, we is learning how the plane operates and how it responds to the controls. The flyer must understand every part of an airplane's assembly from the propeller to the rudder. Greg, you're standing on my lunch. After many hours of preliminary training, the student gets his first chance to fly. On first flights, the plane is always equipped with dual controls 
and an instructor goes along to guide him. I'm gonna level with you. We're lost. To 11 hours of flying with dual controls, the instructor can determine when the young bird is capable of making a flight alone. Is that an innuendo? Now, he's ready for the thrill of a lifetime. Broadway. His first solo flight. Okay, uh, if the thingy sticks, you, you jiggle it, and uh, there's Capri Sun in the cooler, and uh, yeah, I think that's it. Have fun. Flies like a noob. Just then, his squad is ordered to New York City to fight a giant gorilla climbing the Empire State Building. Far away from the rest of the squadron, the student gets the feel of the sky with the greatest possible safety. There's a perfect three-point landing to his credit. Couldn't be better. Unfortunately, he's landed in Cuba. Months more of practice, and the young flyer has earned the right to fly one of the Army's famous P-26A pursuit planes, the harnessed hornet of the air. The tarnished corsets of the air? Notch button, and flying is easy because he knows his plane and how to control it for safety. Actually, folks, I just joined to avoid going to college. And now for something completely different. It's easy to drive an automobile, too. But here again... It's boring. The greatest factor in safety is a knowledge of what you are driving and how it can be controlled. So that's what this is all about. Anybody can start a car, whether he knows anything about power and brakes or not. Mm. It's easy to push down accelerators. Release clutch pedals. Flip off strangers. It's easy to shift the silent synchro mesh gears. And it's easy to stop the car with perfected hydraulic brakes. And spiffy shoes. But like the expert flyer, the driver of a modern, high-powered motor car should know all he can learn about automobiles. And taxidermy and quantity surveying and The beginner should have an understanding laws. of his automobile before he ever attempts to drive in traffic. Oh, I get it. I get it. Every driver should know the traffic rules so well that he will automatically obey them and drive safely all the time. All the time? What about really late at night? Every car has its instruction book. The driver should study it or and learn all he can about how his car works and how to take care of it. He should have several hours of instruction at the control. He should star in a buddy picture. And finally, the first solo. Yes, where there's plenty oh, of room sorry. for him to practice. Interactions with other drivers are of unimportant course, at this stage. Every driver cannot be expected to know quite as much about his car as every pilot knows about his plane. Why would you even suggest such a foolish thing? But there are millions of safe drivers on our highways today. Well, dozens, the maybe. The safe driver knows his brakes, and he knows how to use them Say. to stop without skidding. The safe driver knows his transmission. Right. And how to start on slippery roads okay. without spinning the wheel. No, I got the it. The safe driver knows the braking power no, of okay. his engine. Right. And I got how it. To save his he knows stuff, so he's safe. Hill. I got it. I'm Driving with you. Driving safely is easy. Dude, I'm trying to be when polite. You know how. Chevrolet, a crummy commercial. Flying and driving and safety and stuff because of Chevrolet. Bye. Every driver should know the traffic rules so well that he will automatically obey them and drive safely all the time.